Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Ollie Pierce, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here we create weekly content about men's lifestyles, basically how to get more dates, how to dress better for those dates, and how to live a more fulfilled romantic existence. Today's video is about fashion and fashion on dating, fashion when you're approaching chicks in the street, fashion for bar nights, basically fashion 2021, this summer, lockdown's over, what should you be wearing? The most easy, versatile look, which crosses the boundaries, any man, any age, any generation, any genre, any look, any ethnicity can all wear this look. We're gonna do the one strongest summer fashion look for this summer for you on your dates. Funnily enough, guys, I'm wearing the look. So in a minute, I'm gonna get up and we're gonna go outside into my back garden and I'm gonna give you a little luxury catwalk. All right, we're gonna model it for you. But before we do that, there are a few elements which will probably be better done sitting right here. So let's look at the accessories, all right? Because accessories is huge in this look. Accessories is huge in general, and I get a lot of questions from my styling and dating clients who I help with their image on jewelry and how much jewelry you should wear. Okay, so if you're a mature guy and you can't own that jewelry, not physically own it, as in own it, as in, you can pull it off, you shouldn't wear it. So guys who are coming into their mid to late 30s, you're getting too old, right? You're getting too old to wear too much jewelry. This is the best jewelry and the most common and the most versatile jewelry for any man. It transcends, you know, different groups. So be aware of that, you know, you've got to own it. A massive part of the ownership of jewelry is doing the right thing. So the jewelry I'm wearing today is the right thing. It's the coolest and the most current and contemporary, and it transcends all boundaries. So age, ethnicity, social group, whatever. This is what you can wear. So let's look at what I'm wearing first. Remember, I'm in my late 30s. Um, I can pull it off, but I look quite young and I'm a stylist and a model. So my image and my whole vibe is quite young. Thus, I can push it a bit more. But elements of what I'm wearing will work for everyone. So let's look at the younger man's 20 something most common, slightly urban jewelry combo, which I'm wearing. First things first, we have my neck jewelry. So let's look at that. Now, I'm wearing three chains here, right? But if we take this chain out, the thickest one, put that in my mouth. These two, these two, let me speak. These two are more common. So I'm actually gonna take this one off now. I want to show you that. I like to pimp it up a little bit, a little bit hip hop and wear a bit more. But if you're not at all wishing to do that and to have these urban vibes running through your look, you can just as easily get rid of the thickest one and have two like that, right? Now we're getting much more fashion-y, much more. When I say rock and roll, I don't mean rock and roll. I mean, it's a genre of fashion, more a Caucasian, but slightly bad boy urban style of fashion. So it's an urban fashion with a Caucasian backdrop rather than coming from the black community. So that's a bit more rock and roll, these two thin ones. And if you want to, if these are too much for you, or you don't like religious paraphernalia or the medallion to take it to another level, you could also totally get rid of them. So these tiny thin snake chains, very thin links, one is 20 inches and one is 18. So the key now is not to have big dangling, you know, medallions and big chains. That was the 90s, that's one of the bad boys. Now it's all about these, close to the neck and low key. And also, by the way, if you don't like having it outside the t-shirt, just the glint there is also very attractive. One of my first ever girlfriends, a massive fashion person, said she hates it when guys have their chain out, but she loves seeing it glinting there. It's very sexy. And that she imagines them walking around in their boxes in the morning with a, a chain of a cross, having a cup of tea, and it's got Italian-American bad boy vibes. That was her words. So girls like jewelry is another thing. And let's get on to that point quickly. So for all of you at home who are saying, oh, I can't wear accessories, I'll look gay, or I can't pull it off, blah, blah, blah. Okay, men who think like that are beta. Alpha males love decorating themselves. And if you look through any society in any era, it's the same. So pirates, they're very alpha, let's be real, all right? Fucking matches in their hair, eye makeup. Look at Jack Sparrow, right? That's really how a lot of them appeared. Maori warriors, tattoos all over their faces, rappers, big chains, jewelry all over them, you know? 
Celtic warriors, blue paint all over them, to decorate yourself and to show yourself with whatever you can to gain attention is one of the most alpha things of possible. It's peacocking. So jewelry is in no way feminine. And if you want to be more alpha, embrace it. Trust me. So anyway, you can be more low key by tucking them in, as I was saying, and these are the right lengths and the right style. And we can have one or two of these medallions on. Now, we're going to use one theme, either silver or gold. Silver's cheaper and it's easier and it's less likely to make you look like a Greek kebab salesman. So I'd always go for silver. I've now got a Rolex on. You may not be able to afford a Rolex, but have a nice watch. If not, a Mac watch is actually quite cool for some reason. We're in a techie age. You know, everyone knows that Mac is now running the world. A Mac watch works. It's black, it's low key, it looks good. Black and silver is the theme you're gonna see. So silver, 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 black and silver on my Rolex. Black and silver stone ring. So that's just an onyx stone ring. The stone is onyx, black onyx. And then look, I've actually got, if you look here, you can see this, the pattern on the ring and the bracelet matches. Very cool. And that's a bangle, men's bangle. So you get yourself a black stone ring and a matching plain silver bangle. Two short chains and the medallions are optional. And if two's too much, you can even do one. You know, one without a medallion. We can get more and more low key. It all counts. Just one like that, if you wanted. All right, I've got two earrings, but that's neither here nor there. That's cool if you want it. So that was the accessories, gentlemen. I'm about to go out in the garden and show you the whole outfit now. But before I do so, we're currently giving away a free Tinder first messaging PDF package giveaway. Basically, it's a load of first messages which work. They really compel girls to answer. We all know how annoying it is when you match someone hot. You say hello or hi and they go cold and they go quiet and they don't answer. So this really should compel a lot of flow and a lot of attraction towards your Tinder account. Get that, it's free. All you've got to do is go into the description box below. My website's there, click on the website and there's an obvious place where you can enter your email and we will send you that PDF package giveaway. Anyway, with no further ado, Let's look at this whole outfit. A few moments later. All right, gentlemen. So here is the overall outfit. Very simple. Let's look at one last look, which we could call an accessory. We've got the trouser chain. So I've got a bead and a metal chain. The bead is quite cool, but quite uncommon. That's more common. So my wallet is leading to my trouser chain. I've got a luxury wallet. If you can afford a Louis Vuitton wallet, that's always going to be great. And actually that pattern peeping out there is part of the look. It's a very expensive wallet if you know the brand Louis Vuitton. And that's a nice little signifier of luxury. So that's always a nice addition to the whole overall accessories vibe. And finally, we whack in the sunglasses and there we have it. Brad shit. There we go, baby, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hollywood. Okay, so let's go through the other elements anyway. So let's look at the overall outfit then. So first thing, so if you've got cropped trousers, this color combination I've gone for is a really strong one for the summer. I really like it. But in a minute after I've gone through the look, I'm gonna show you different ways you can rock this look with different color combos. So these are cropped trousers. What does that mean? It means they're coming up high and showing my ankles basically. I've put an extra turn up in because I want them really high. I like it this high. So that's the style. Cropped fitted skinny trousers. They're quite slim, there's no giving them. And then you wear these with no socks or ankle socks. Ankle socks are the ones which are invisible and come down there. I've currently got no socks on. Then the next look is these shoes, right? So obviously these have been bought for a client, thus they're still tagged. Um, but we'd get rid of the tag. These are an Adidas plain, simple plimsoll sneaker, basically. So really crisp is the key. And we're gonna show you in a minute some, some other ones. Probably the most versatile shoe to get for this isn't the Adidas version, it's Air Force One by Nike. This is Adidas's version of an Air Force One. So let's flip up Air Force Ones now, ding! All right, cool. And let's look at our first image of another model or influencer, or whoever this hunk is, wearing a similar look to me with Air Force Ones. Ding! There we go. So it's crisp, they've got to be really new. Once they start getting fucked, the look is done. So. Keep them crisp, wipe them off after you've worn them, put them in a wash a few times, and when they start to look old, uh -uh, get a new pair. So, crop trouser, white plimsoll, or white sneaker, white trainer. 
little turn up to show the ankles, fitted grey trousers. I've then got a beige muscle fit t-shirt. Okay, it's a muscle fit, but I don't want to go super tight. You know, my physique, the strength of most guys' physiques is their upper body, it's their chest and arms. So a muscle fit t-shirt will come up high here, roll it over your triceps like that, you show off more tricep, and the tightness here is what shows your good physique. You don't need to have it super tight around your waist, that's just making you look, you know, like you're trying too hard, and you know, you know, slightly gay vibes, no disrespect, but you know, very slinky, it's a bit too much. So this kind of fit is perfect. The grey and the beige goes really well together, but this would have worked really well with a plain white t-shirt as well. Or we could flip to a black plimsoll and wear it with a black t-shirt. Right, so muscle fit t-shirt, cropped trousers, great accessories, and there we have it. This is the most versatile, easy, and common summer look. You're gonna see guys all over Western Europe, all over the States wearing this. They're all cool, they're high end. Give it a go, rock it, all right? So now let's look at a few other versions of this look, not done by myself. 12 seconds later. All right then, gents, we're back inside. Here is a few other examples of other well-dressed guys rocking this outfit or similar combinations. So our first man here, has a different color combo. Check out the black plimsolls. As I mentioned, you can just reverse the t-shirt color and the shoe color. You could have put in a green trouser there with a white shoe and a white t-shirt or a green trouser with a black t-shirt and a black shoe, etc., etc. The trouser color, you can just change, but the t-shirt and the shoe needs to match. All right, here's another example. Let's look at this guy. He's wearing a fitted polo shirt with the collar there. Very cool, exactly the same look, just flipping it into a polo shirt. Remember the polo shirt has to match the color of the shoes if you're gonna go along those lines. Then there's another one with the cropped trouser look with the fitted muscle fit shirt. So the crisp white short sleeve shirt makes it a bit more smart and sophisticated and would actually allow this look to sort of extend into restaurants and more smart casual settings. And then finally, we've got another guy here just different color combos. Note the accessories again and the use of the same similar sunglasses. And here's another guy with a different color combination. So there's an overview guys of different ways you can combine it and different elements you can chuck in to the top half of the outfit. So having seen those examples, let's just show you one more. It doesn't always have to be plain trousers. As you can see here, this gentleman has exactly the same look but with checkered trousers. So here's a checkered trouser combo, croc check trousers, and another one here. And finally, another one here wearing a shirt, just to show you it's the same look really, just a bit more out there with the checkered trousers. It's also gonna get a lot of positive attention and be really, very relevant for this summer. Gentlemen, I hope you liked the look and the other examples. This will get positive attention. I'm simply a stylist, I work for magazines, and I transmit what's going on in the media and culture. And this is definitely one of the most prominent looks and one of the sexiest for single guys out there trying to attract female attention. Give it a go, I guarantee it's gonna deliver. So those were all influencers. Here are a couple of my clients wearing this outfit because I use this a lot. These are guys that I have styled, I've shot with their fashion sense and to make these looks and formulate a wardrobe for their dating journey. So we've done the styling and then we've then taken pictures for their Tinder and they also use them on their social media accounts. So look at this guy first. He's got the checkered trouser look with the polo shirt, this one. And here's another one, checkered trouser look with a round t-shirt. And here's another really cool one of a guy with the normal plain non-checkered trousers. And we've chucked in a blazer this time. So it's a nice example of how a blazer can also be used as an overgarment in this look. So before I finish, if you are interested in any service inquiries, be sure to hit us up via the website. I style guys, I help take pictures for Tinder and offer advice and theory on every single element of your romantic journey. We can do this for you. So be sure to, to hit me up if you'd like to discuss. And of course, while you're on the website, get that free PDF Tinder first message giveaway. So that's the end of today's video. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. You've been great. I've been Ollie. Peace.